Hi, I'm Joe Hupsey, and I'm here at the Cadence R&D office in India, speaking with my colleague Deepak Pan. Deepak, first uh, introduce yourself. Hi Joe, uh, I'm Deepak, I manage the IFV R&D team in India, and uh, you know I've been with Cadence about 14 years now, mm -hmm. and before I moved to this role, I used to manage the simulation R&D team here. I see. Now, talking about formal, most people think formal I think it's a misconception that it's only good for IP or block level verification, but we've really uh, changed that, haven't we? That that's true, Joe. Uh, initially, long time back, uh, this this may have been true, and formal may have been limited to small blocks. But now we have gone beyond that. The capacity we have really powerful engines, and our capacity has increased. But even more than that, uh, we we have we can apply formal to solve a number of problems in the similar verification domain at SOC level also where simulation has uh, has trouble. So what's a good example of an SOC level application of formal? So one such application is what we call the SOC connectivity application. Mm -hmm. As more and more uh, uh, you know design houses they move from IP design to actually assembling IP uh, to, to you know uh, integrate and generate SOCs. Um, uh, the big problem is how to verify that these IPs have been connected correctly. Uh, it's very difficult in a simulation environment, it's very difficult to control the stimulus so that all the connections are excited and to verify whether everything has been verified. And of course that's formal strength, it's exhaustive, right? So formal is exa exhaustive, it's, it's quick and you know, it get, get, gets the job done where simulation takes a lot of time, it's difficult to set up environments like this. Indeed. Now, I think there's another example in terms of how formal and simulation are now kind of reinforcing each other is now we're talking about coverage and formal together. And people think of coverage as more of a simulation-based thing, but we're now applying it to formal, right? That's true. That's true, Joe. Uh, so, uh, you know, Cadence has IUS, and uh, we've leveraged the strength of simulation. We've, we've had integration with simulation, and that's helped us generate coverage for formal environments. Uh, the way people can use it is to actually sanitize their constrained environment to figure out how good they are. Mm -hmm. uh, another, another use would be to actually what simulation guys do is to figure out how much of the design they have verified. Uh, for if, if you get get a if you have a check in your uh, environment that you are not able to conclude with formal, you can always generate coverage and then figure out how much of the design you verified. So in effect, we also have uh, support what we'd call a coverage and reachability flow, right? That's true. So this technology not only can help you in formal environments, but can also help you plug holes in your simulation environment. So if you've done simulation and you think you've, you've done enough of simulation, but there are still though that uh, last 5% that you're not able to achieve, and you can apply formal and figure out whether some of them are actually truly unreachable. And that will help you either fix that or wean those out. Great. Well, Deepak, thanks for sharing your insights. Thank you, Joe.